Now still you can use Web3 model in your DApp project to connect with Metamask wallet or any wallet. So here you can see that here I'm in the NFT marketplace project which we have built on our channel and I believe that you guys have built that project. But let's talk about this particular package Web3 model. So right now you can see that this is the latest version I have installed in this and I'm not having any issues. But if you look at this NPM package repository, what you will find that this particular package is depreciated and many of you have asked me that I'm trying to connect with the web3 model and it's not working I'm getting this warning don't need to worry about that the package will still work the same so you can see this is what we have if you want to get more details you can simply come to their page and you can see that what are the project they have included and what are the dependency what are the modules how you can configure that in your application which I will show you just wait here is the way which you can use ether.js and we have the wheat as well and this is the plain JavaScript so they have explained everything about this web3 model but still you can use it okay so if you come back to the web3 model so you can see this is how you can pop up the model and you can customize this this model so you can pick different color you can pick different type of wallets so if you go with ethereum you will find all the wallets related to ethereum but you can easily able to customize so this is the one we have and now let's come back to the documentation so if i come back to the doc and they have one of the most amazing documentation which is very clear to understand and here you will find all the modules so this is the home page they have explained that how it's work and here they have given the sdk and that's what we utilize in our project so we have this web3 model if you open that one you will find multiple framework so you can use with the react html resources v3 alpha and we have web3 wallet and web inbox so we have multiple way to integrate and we use react most of the time in our project so i'll show you with that so you can see this is what we have click on this react and here they have given you the entire procedure which you have to follow so click on this installation and you will find that how you can install and you can see this is the recent upgrade they have added this is called Vigme. I hope I'm pronouncing this correct. W A G M I with me. And this one is really very powerful. So you will notice that this is what I'm going to use in my upcoming project. Just wait, I will show you. So this one they have included. And this gives more power in terms of connecting. So if you come back to the, the blockchain coder, if you go back to the resource code section. So I have used this particular wallet provider here in this particular project which is going to be coming on our pro on our channel so you guys can follow that and that i have explained that how you can use that particular wallet and that one is so powerful in terms of getting the signer provider and providing multiple options so if you come back to the docs that's what we'll see here and they have explained that how you can configure using this particular new model of web3 so you can create the web3 config file in that you will provide the clients and you can define different networks so you can take an area you can define different network like arbitrum net to a main net polygon solana you can pick different network and this particular provider will trigger that particular network and it will give you multiple options so this is how you can do the configuration so you can import with the react or you can import with a wing okay so this is the configuration which is here and we have hooks as well so you can use multiple hooks so use web3 hook which is a react based component and we have all of this method you can define multiple configuration or you can easily change the theme of your application again which i will show you in the project we have this theme we have the set themes and we have the options so what are the options that are available to you pass in the project so this is the mobile wallet configuration you can give and this is the desktop wallet configuration and here is the theme option so you can provide dark and light theme all you have to define is the the color schema of your application the theme you are providing and here we have the custom so you can define the addresses and models and here we have the client object in that you have to provide the options of the user client which the user will interact with and here they have explained a couple of examples which you can see but here is the thing you have to keep in mind make sure to follow the exact particular version they are using so you can see they are using this wing extensively in the project and because of that some of you are saying that it's not working because they have recently added this wing in their web3 model package which gives more power so here what they are doing is they are using the ethereum but we'll go with the global object will not focus on ethereum will not focus on the react specific but we will go with the global object so you guys can be more familiarized so you can use in different project again a detailed video will come in a project which i show you so let's do one thing so this is the entire thing okay now what i will do is in this we're going to cover that one and here we have now come back to the terminal and now let me do the installation so you can see that this is the package which i'm using so what i will do i will first remove this 
So if I come back to the packages and file, come back to the readme, so this is what we have exactly used in our NFT marketplace project. So this is the particular version, but you can see that I'm using the latest version, which is absolutely working fine, I'll show you. So what I will do, I'll simply remove this and I'm going to delete the node module and I'm going to reinstall everything. So I have removed that Web3 wallet. Let me bring it up and let me install the packages. If I run, I'm going to get this error because obviously I have to install first. So I'll clear that. I'll say npm install and it will install the packages. If I want to install this particular version, I have to install like this. So I'll type npm i and I can give this Web3 model and I have to define the version name. So if you want to install a specific version of Web3, this is how you can define. You have to define the version name and we can install this particular package. So if I come back to the packages and file and here you can see that we have installed this particular version. But what if you guys want to install the latest version? It will work absolutely fine. So we'll have to first uninstall this. So I'll uninstall this Web3 model and you will see that I'm not having any issue. So let's type this Web3 model and hit enter. And here we have installed the package successfully. So everything is working fine. Now let me install the updated version. I'll say npm i and I'll say Web3 model. Installation without argument is going to update the install the updated version. So this is the updated version. And now let me show you that this application is working absolutely fine. So let me start the application npm. So we'll say npm run dev. And here we have started the application. It's running on locals 3000. Come back here, click on this, click on this. And here you can see this is our NFT marketplace. Looks absolutely fine and we have no issues. And I believe that you guys have built this particular project because if you want to become a blockchain developer, then this is the project is most for you. If you look at the most of the project right now in the industry, somehow they are working around NFT. So this will teach you everything. So this is the one NFT I have created when I was testing in this particular contract. And you can see that I'm not able to fetch the NFT because I'm not connected. If I come back to the search, I can able to have all the NFT we have in the contract. This is the only one I have created. So first I have to connect. So if I click on this connect, it's going to open my MetaMask. Let me pass my credential and here I'm connected and it says create. Now the recording was stopped for a while and I didn't know. So this is the NFT I have created. I created it successfully, but I will show you that how you can create. So if I click on this create, let me upload the image. So I'll go with this one and let me give the name. So I'll say the blockchain coder the blockchain coder and let's come back to the blockchain coder and I'll simply copy the URL and I'll paste here and here I have to provide the description so come back here and I'm going to simply drag and drop copy and that's what I'm going to paste here and select anything I'll pick this random number and let's assign the price so it's going to be something like 0 0.000 very less click on this upload and it's going to trigger our contract and we are simply clicking and you can see that your the transaction is taking place so we are creating the token for our NFT. Just wait. It's going to complete very soon. And here we have created our first NFT. Sorry, third NFT. And you can see it looks absolutely beautiful. If you click on that and here you find that this is the third NFT we have created. And if you click on that, you can come back here and you can see this is the owner who created this three NFT in the marketplace. If you come back to the index here, we are fetching the information about the NFT we have created. So every single thing is working fine. You can see every single thing is working fine and we have no issue with our Web3 model. We have successfully connected and we have created the NFT. So definitely if you have any issues regarding this, come here and check the documentation. But very soon I'm going to have that particular project and that I'm going to show you that how you can use this particular package for building your application. So this is the project in which I'm going to create. So very soon this project will come on the channel so you guys can follow that. So let's do one thing. Let's come back here in the code. And again, you can see we are updating and using the latest version. So this is what you will get in the final code. So this is what you will get in the final code in the NFT marketplace. So if you come back here, so this is what we have. So make sure to follow this complete project in that you will learn every single thing about the blockchain, smart contract, front end, back end, everything I have covered in this particular project. So this is the project you have to build most. Come here and get the startup file and start coding. We have the complete playlist which you can follow. We have tons of projects. Make sure to start one by one. After that, you can follow the Uniswap. Then you can follow the chat. And this is the one for the front end development. This is the API development. So tons of projects we have. Come and have a look. And come back to my channel. Here you will find all the playlists 
so we have this chat gdp clone we have the tokens taking that we have metamask we have the d5 web3 startup we have this real estate we have the smart contract solity we have the uniswap we have the solity complete course api development nft marketplace so i have close to 30 project on the web3 app so make sure to build at least six of them that will give you a better idea that how you can build that one so this is the roadmap which i have published a day ago so you guys can follow that and have a complete understanding that what technology you have to learn so check that particular roadmap for five months and all the project looks absolutely incredible so make sure to come and have a look this is what you're going to build in this nft marketplace so i want you to come and build this particular project this will teach you every single thing which you have to know so that's the only thing i want to cover in this video i hope you guys have got an idea that how you can use web3 model in your project and we have no issues the package is depreciated but it's still you can use that and again i'm going to cover that particular wing package for connecting with our metamask and providing multiple options to the user for connecting in my upcoming video so you guys can follow that and that's the only thing and if you're new to my channel hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot to come up with this project and if you have any doubt any question do let me know in the comment section so i can help you in that have a wonderful day bye, -bye.